clearly how they keep on getting straight A's every semester this is one question I get asked very often in this video I'm going to be spilling out all the secrets on how I get straight A's and maintain them every semester so are you ready say yes come on say yes say yes are you ready no you must say yes are you ready say yes yes you have said yes all right so this is how I do it everyone what's up clever nations how are you doing today and i hope you're doing great if you're just seeing my face for the first time my name is clevy and i'm so glad you could join me here today i'm all about sharing my experiences through medical school and life by giving you tips that has helped me each step of the way so make sure you click on that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and click on the notification bell so you get notified when i post new videos quick disclaimer before i begin i want to get a few things out of the way if you're looking for shortcuts to having straight A's or success, you won't find it here because that's not what I'm about to tell you. And so I'm not going to tell you I'm going to have straight A's one week to exams or two weeks to exams or one month to exams. No. My focus is on helping you get better and one way I'm going to do that is by being honest with you. Having straight A's takes hard work, it takes commitment and it takes a dedication. If you want to have straight A's, it begins from the very first day your session begins and your semester begins. That's when you're having straight, that straight A's. Mindset is my very first advice or my very first secret. One of the secrets that I use to have straight A's, first is my mindset. I have this growth mindset, a mindset that there's always room for improvement, a mindset that I know I'm capable of getting better and improving. And so that's what I want you to have. If you're already having this mindset that you cannot make it, Somehow you end up not making it because your mind believes whatever you tell it. Do not underestimate the power of the subconscious. Yet once you keep on saying it, just keep on saying it and saying it. I'm intelligent, I'm smart, I will understand the subject, I will have straight A's. I need to have such positive mindset because that's what is going to carry you through. Having a good mindset is already going to start you off on the right path. Now, one other secret I'm going to put in this first tip is. You have to know why you want the straight A's. There's supposed to be a reason. You have to have that reason because that's going to be your drive. That's going to be your motivation. Aside from our standard motivations like our parents or friends, why do you want to have the straight A's? Ask yourself that question and let that be the fuel to your fire. Let that be your driving force. Be your own motivation. The next secret I want to share with you it's going to hurt you a little bit. That's the truth. Even if it's going to hurt you, I have to still say it. Associate with focused friends. Not just only focused friends, but smart and like-minded friends. Those are the people I want you to associate yourself with. There's one quote I love so much, and I want this quote to also sink into your head. It says, you're the average of the five people you spend the most of your time with. Make sure you spend quality time with smart and focused friends because if you have friends that don't even believe first off that having the straight A's is important or is even good that's the beginning of your failure just so much benefit of having a very good friend because smart friends serves as a teacher to each other and so who will you call when you're having difficulty in trying to answer your assignments who will you call when you don't understand something who was the first person you call is it not your friends and so if you have friends that are not smart or they are not focused or they are not like-minded i mean you're done for sorry but that's the truth the next secret i want to also add here is make friends with your seniors too someone that has passed through that same class someone that has passed through that same level that because you learn a lot from them maybe you're trying to solve something and you've met your friends and they can't solve it go meet your senior that is your friend and they will help you out when, when i was in school i had a senior that was always helping me out she would give me a note she would help me out with past questions and at the end of the day before i even start that semester i have the notes i already have the notes so why won't i have that straight A's? so before the class even begins i already know what the lecturer has to say i already know the notes is going to give and so it gives me an edge that's one of the secrets i'm also throwing in here please make friends with your seniors because you would learn a lot the next secret is go to class I mean, you won't have straight A's, what are you doing at home? Go to class, attend lectures, 
the benefit attached to going to class. Number one, some lecturers give marks for attendance. Please go and get yourself that five marks or two marks. Trust me, it will help you in the future. The next thing I want to say is, some lecturers literally tell you what's going to be in your exams or test when you go to class. And so when you're in class, make sure you write down all those questions because it's going to come out. Yes, it is. Ask questions. But if you ask them good questions, it's going to rub off like being smart and good and it's also helping your grade. Who knows? <laughs> Some lecturers also award some marks to students who answer questions. Like there are sometimes they'll be like, we can answer this question to our five marks. So if you don't go to class, how will you even answer that question? Make sure you always go to class because going to class will help you so much. Never skip classes, you'll fall behind. The next secret is take notes. Yes, you've had that good mindset. Now you have focused friends. Now you've gone to class. Please write down notes because that note will definitely help you out. So don't sit down in class and you're paying attention and you're thinking you have this magnetic brain that everything is going to stick. No, please make sure you write down notes. Now, the question of the day. I would love to know if you want me to share note taking tips. So go down to the comment section and answer yes or no. If you want me to share how to take notes, that's the tips on taking notes. After this video, I'm going to head down there and continue this conversation. The next secret is studying every day. I study a little bit every day. Imagine when you go to class and your lecturer says, put out your books, it's time to take a test. What are you going to do? You didn't announce that test. <laughs> so are you going to fail? No. Studying a little bit every day will help you understand what you've learned the previous day, will help you prepare for the next day with every day. This is one of my secrets that's helped me so much. So for you to understand this secret, please make sure you check out my previous videos because it will help you so much. I'm really asking you right now that after you finish watching this video, please go watch that one because I got a lot of positive feedbacks. I got feedback and I was so happy that I could influence people and I could impact the lives of people. All my secrets are all joined together. So you can't do number one and leave out number 10. You can't do number five and leave out number eight. But it will not work. So make sure you do everything to a T. And once you do everything I've asked you to do, success is all yours. My next secret is read your syllabus. In my school, the first class for a new course is not even the introduction to the course. What the lecturer does is to give us the course outline, what that course will entail. They're giving you those things for a reason. So don't just drop them or don't just write them on your first page and forget about it. Read your syllabus because there are sometimes the lecturer gives the syllabus will not come to class to physically take a topic in the syllabus but will put it in your exams so what are you gonna say didn't teach you no that does come to class and jumped to the introduction but they gave you that course outline for a reason so make sure you go read everything on the course outline because it will definitely help you i'm telling you what has worked for me make sure you read your syllabus read your handouts read um read any material you're giving about a particular course because it will definitely help you. My next secret is take your test seriously. A's is from 80 and above. What makes that 80 and above? We have 10, 14, 20s that are all added together to make 80, 90 or 100. So if there's a possibility that you can take a test and have 15 marks, then why not take it seriously? If it's announced, please make sure you read for it and study very well. That's my previous video, so make sure you go check it out. Study effectively so you'll be able to take that test. But if it's not announced, I mean, you've gotten the secret. Study a little bit every day. You're still covered. You've gotten the secret. Go to class. You're still covered. I mean, it's going to be unstoppable. <laughs> so please make sure you take your test seriously. The next secret is remember your assignments. To me, there are two types of assignments. We have the graded assignments and we have the other assignments where the lecturer gives you and like, it's for you, it's for your own. Just read it and know it. Please read and know. So a lot of people do the graded assignments and leave out the other assignments. 
after doing the grade assignment, please make sure you do the other assignment because it may come out in exams. He already asked you to read on it, so don't complain when it shows up in your exams and you're like, you didn't teach it. The next secret I have for you is to be balanced. Don't neglect other parts of your life. So make sure you're balanced, make sure you get enough rest, make sure you know when to sleep, make sure you know when to party, make sure you know when to watch a movie. I mean, life will stay continue. Smile, be joyful because those are one of my secrets. So you always say a smiley, clever, you always say a clever that is always just, you know, always cheerful. That is how we want to be. So please make sure you're balanced. Don't think, um, yes, I've told you to take it seriously. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't have time for yourself so have fun you know if you should fall sick now my dear school will still continue so make sure you take good care of yourself because that's what is needed the next secret is time management is key you need to make the most out of your day you need to manage your time well get a planner create um, a schedule make sure you have your priorities right so you'll be able to make out time for the different things you need to do. Make sure you know how to manage your time well. Have your priorities in your mind while making your schedule or your planner. Make sure you don't procrastinate. Now it brings that question, how? How do I manage my time to make the most out of your day? That's why you have me and that's why I'm always coming up for you. I want you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and click on the notification bell because in my next video, I'm going to be talking about how to manage your time. However, in the meantime, if you want to know how to study effectively for your exams like I told you to and also want to know how to prepare for your medical school interviews or screening exercise, make sure you click on these two videos right here. Clevy Nations, I'll see you in my next video. Till then, stay safe, stay healthy and stay blessed. I love you. Thank you for watching.